Good morning everybody. It's a lovely morning on Cleveland Seafront. We're going to walk the other way because you might be able to hear that the wind's blowing. So I always have to make sure I've got the microphone orientated for the right way around for the wind. So here's Mary's shell looking resplendent on the beach in the sunshine. <clears throat> Beautiful morning. Still a, a cool nip just now. It's about half past eleven. Um, but it's a it's a beautiful day i've got to say so we're going to walk back along russell promenade this morning and i'm going to show you russell beach which is where i'm lucky enough to live very very lucky i can can't say any other so this is our this is our lovely beach So here's the venue, unfortunately still closed. We'll be really glad when that's open again. It's our local. We, uh, the Russell Beach Group spend, spend some time in there, let's say. So these information boards were actually done by the Russell Beach Group as well. So there's, I think there's 11 of them um that tell you all about the sea and the sea defenses and the animals that live in it and all different kinds of things so that's quite an interesting read if you're coming for a stroll along here just saunter from one to another perhaps best not to touch them though because everybody's touching the information boards and you've got absolutely no idea what they've got what they've brought with them <coughs> so this is the Shingle Beach at the northern end of Cleveland. So Fleetwood is your next stop north and those hills that you can see in the distance are the Lake District. So this beach any time, well any time this year theoretically, is going to have some work done to stabilise the beach levels and make it um, secure for the risk of flooding. So this old sea wall here, if I just turn round, you can see there's quite a, in fact if I just stand on here, you can see there's quite a drop at the moment and the beach moves about ever such a lot and that's because there's nothing to stabilise it because when this beach wall was built, sea wall even, um, they just put a, a cast concrete wall in. So the Wire Beach Management Scheme is going to stabilise it by building rock groins along this beach which will lift the level of the beach and they're also putting in what's called toe protection and that's a layer of rocks which go along the edge of the seawall. I'll show you from here. So as you can see this seawall here, <clears throat> you can see that there's a bit of a bull nose I noticed that comes out and it curves and it goes down and round like that underneath the beach so the actual concrete stops somewhere round about there-ish and that concrete just stops in a straight line so there's nothing there's nothing to protect it from being undermined so if we had a bad storm that eroded this beach and then another bad storm on top of that this sea wall potentially could be undermined and, and potentially could be breached which would be catastrophic so that's what the the toe protection is going to do it's the rocks like the ones that are used in the grinds up at Russell and they'll be laid in a straight line like that along the toe of along the end of the concrete sea wall and then they'll be covered up by the beach. So you, you, you're not gonna see any of that. It's all gonna be like an ice, well, not even like an iceberg because there won't even be anything floating. But that will hold the beach in place because you can see at the moment that it's quite high, this beach here. And that is reasonably unusual um, because normally it's a much steeper drop off the edge of this wall onto the pebbles so that will be good because when it comes up here in winter when it's a, 
a bad storm. It's uh, like the girl with the curl. When it's bad, it's really, really bad. I just stopped a second to show you this. And if you use Facebook, you'll know that there have been PPE items found discarded all over the place that people can't manage to put in a bin. And <coughs> I'd just like to say that if you if you're using gloves and masks and things like that, please put them in a bin when you've done with them. Don't just drop them on the path. Under normal circumstances, I would have picked it up, but I've got an embargo on touching anything foreign at the moment, given the fact that you don't know where anything's been. So this is another one of the information boards that I told you about. So this is one well, obviously all about the sea defences and it explains some of the systems that make the beach work. Um, emergency telephone which I believe does still work. Not everybody has a mobile and there's not always a signal. It's uh, what you might call hit and miss down here. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So this is the beautiful, beautiful Russell Beach. What a lovely day. I'd just like to put a plea out to anybody that's thinking about travelling to the coast this weekend. Just remember, for example, this path is quite narrow and I've been doing a bit of a slalom, dodging in and out of people as I've been doing this. It's all right saying, keep six foot away from everybody, go out and enjoy the outdoors. But when the outdoors is full, you can't keep six foot away from people. So perhaps it might be worth just waiting a little bit longer. Oh, I'll just show you this. Rewind. You might have seen a comment about that on Facebook the other day. Can you see there's a sign on the sea wall? That used to say Thornton and Fleetwood and there was a, a sort of a line down the middle of it and it said Fleetwood at the other side there. Somebody's broken it off, we don't know when, but that's the old boundary marker from when you had Fleetwood Urban District Council and I think it was Thornton Cleveland's Urban District Council. And at one point the Russell Beach Group were going to refurbish it and we decided that we weren't qualified enough so we didn't bother. And then some, somebody, put that in inverted commas, has levered most of it off and it's disappeared. So it's a shame we didn't try and renovate it. All of it renovated would have been better than most of it missing. So I'm going to love you and leave you at this point. Have a nice weekend. Keep away from everybody that you possibly can do. Keep yourself safe and we'll see you next week. Bye.